In my previous video, I featured the 20 inch plant pot. It's, uh, it's quite large, but it looks great. It looks expensive and yet it was only $30. You can find out all that information in the previous video. But I also in that video mentioned the planter caddy uh, on wheels. And it's critical because when you fill this up with uh, soil, this is going to weigh, you know, close to 60 pounds at least, and depending on how big your tree is and how much soil you put in, but it makes it very, very difficult to move, not just because of the weight, but if you look at the, uh, the shape, obviously the shape is very difficult to carry or maneuver. Uh, these 20 inch, uh, anything that's 20 inches wide is kind of hard to uh, grip, let alone some that's uh, like this curved and um, just uh, not balanced because it's wider up the top, very narrow at the bottom. So anyway, sorry about that, uh, a plant, the caddy becomes critical. So you want something on wheels, but ideally you want something that also matches, kind of blends in. I've seen people that don't really care. They have black uh, planters with, with white uh, caddies or orange, or black, it just weird stuff. But uh, for me, I wanted something that uh, was kind of seamless and that blends all in. So. Uh, went to went to work trying to find this, and to my surprise, caddies are very expensive. Um, I guess I should have realized it because they become critical with planters this size. But um, I was seeing stuff sixty dollars, seventy dollars, a hundred dollars, just uh, just what seemed very overpriced. So just kept looking, 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 and uh, hopefully, once again, you know, did the due diligence for you guys, saving you time, money, and energy. But um, I found this planter caddy on wheels, lockable wheels for uh, $20 for about two, or I think it's about $20, give or take. So almost $10 each. And um, this one happens to be 13 inches uh, in diameter. And uh, now they all have a lip. This is the lip here. So it's not quite, uh, the inside uh, diameter is not uh, 13 inches. So just to be clear, if you measure across, you see the 13 inches, but inside is closer to 11 and a quarter. Now this planter pot was 10 and uh, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half, basically. But what you need to uh, be aware of is there's a, there's a gra gradual curve. So the, even though the base of your thing may be 10, 15, 12, whatever it is, it's going to get larger as it goes up. So you want to accommodate that. Um, so you, you need your generally most people will need something that is a little bit larger than the inside so in my case this was uh, this planter pot was 10 and change this was 11 and three quarters it was perfect and as you can see it lines up really really well and outside of that it's actually just it's pretty well made it holds up to 150 pounds it's a it's a thick plastic and assembly couldn't be any easier it uh it comes with the four wheels. That's it, and you literally just pop these in, and uh, and uh, you know, uh, stick it down there and make sure it's in, and that's it. Each wheel, unlike some of these other ones, is lockable, so you can lift it up and lock it down. That's on all four wheels, not just two like some of the other brands. You can pop these in one at a time. Just make sure they're in all the way. That's it. Not even a lot of effort. No hammers. No special way. That's it. And then to make sure that they're rolling, I got to figure out which way, but make sure they're unlocked. One of these is locked. So up is to unlock. And that's it. You can see how freely this rolls around. And that's it. And it generally moves around, you know, quite well. Um, all things considered. I mean, this is a hardwood floor, but I would imagine you have no problem on carpet. And um, at the end of the day, you're not traveling with this thing down your block. <laughs> um, you know, maybe down your in your patio or uh, inside your home a few feet. So. It absolutely does a job, and for the price, you really cannot beat that. Um, it's it's, and also you have to be careful. Um, like, there's a slight difference that you won't really pick up on the camera uh, in terms of white versus um, 
this is a white, but a touch off, like a touch off white perhaps. But by the time it's on the bottom, it all blends in. Obviously it depends on the angle. So there it is. Um, this is the 13 inch or 13 inch wide uh, diameter. Your pot, you know, adjust accordingly, but do the measurements, measure from the inside and, uh, and figure out, don't forget the slope. I hope this helped. If it did, please give it, a, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe down below and thank you for joining me.